I'm joined by Mike. Mike's from Seacom. Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you doing? You good? I'm good, thank you. And I believe this is your first time here to the, uh, at any Hamvention, I think. Any Hamfest, yeah? It is indeed, yeah. I'm loving it. It's really busy. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, yes. So your company's Seacom, C-E-E, C-E-E, is that right? C-E-E, C-O-M, Seacom, yes. Excellent. You produce? Antennas. Okay. Now, it's the first time we've seen you. So tell us what tell us the sort of things that you're doing. Tell, tell us the sort of things that you're selling. Right, so at the show today we've got dipoles and J-poles. Um, we've got J-poles for 2 meter, 4 meter, 6 meter bands and the air band. Okay, great. And these things you build yourself? Yes, I've got a moulding machine. Um, I, I produce them uh, from a very small workshop. Um, they take me a lot of time to make, but it's, um, it's a hobby turned into a small business. Um, uh, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> so, how did you, so how did you get into this? What was your, what's your sort of background? What, what got you into building aerials and, uh, and that sort of thing? Um, very long story. Um, I won't go into it all today, but um, I'm into my electronics. Um, from a kid, I've been taking TVs apart, um, detuning my granddad's radio to listen to aircraft. Um, it's just a hobby. I like making things. Um, got into my uh, scanners um, probably around about the age of 15. I was listening to all sorts. There was a lot more activity back then. Yeah. Um, bought a few aerials, which wasn't up to standard back then, and I just enjoyed making them. Started making a few things, and things have progressed. And here I am today making. So what, so what made you go from being a bit of a hobby, building things for yourself, thinking actually I could make, you know, I could make it into a business? What was it that made you made you to do that? What was it? Um, a few friends of mine in the same hobby would go, "Oh, Mike, can you make me this? Can you make me that?" And I'd make it. And <clears throat> excuse me, as as the years have gone by, yeah, I'm just people are always asking me to make things. So why not make a business of it? Absolutely. Now, now, now I believe you're still working. You still got a full time job. You're doing this as a kind of part time thing. For now, yes. Hopefully things will progress and I can leave. But yeah, I have a full time job. I work on telemetry. I installed um, all sorts of things on water towers. Okay, interesting. Um, I don't know what they are because we don't get told. But a, a lot of other stuff involved in the job too. Um, but some of it does involve radio, yes. Okay, so a little bit to do with your current job, but actually you're moving well. You're kind of getting into this, your own business, which is great. Yes. What have you found has sold well? Or what were you expecting to, to find today, and how has how how it actually gone? To be honest, it's been amazing today. Um, never been, I've been to a few small rallies, where you get people walking around, but driving up on um, early Friday morning, I got the wife out of bed really early, <laughs> but driving up, we was debating, I don't know if it's going to be busy or not. Um, bought a load of stock up, and to be fair, I've nearly sold out. It's been absolutely an amazing response. I'm, so, you, you're quite pleased, though, I believe. I'm, uh, I'm patting myself on the back, yeah, I'm very happy with what we've done today and yesterday. Now, I've seen you on the stand here the last couple of days, and I, I've seen you've run out of things. You've actually been building aerials around the back there, you've had your toolkit out, you've had things cutting bits of aluminium and things. It's been that busy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, sometimes when you buy an antenna, it comes, it's marked, you put it up, it's not tuned. So I've been showing people, I've got the aerial analyzers here, that goes right up to a couple of gigs. Um, so every aerial I've been selling, I've been putting it on the analyzer, tuning it, and yeah, it's giving people what they want. So people are happy. People, it sounds like people are really happy. Yeah, I had one guy come back, he was yesterday, took a um, four meter J-pole. He went away last night. He was so impressed. He came and took one on six meter and two meter today as well. <laughs> you, well, you can't say better than that. <laughs> and in terms that you mentioned earlier, you got a workshop. It sounds like you've had to invest some money in this. You know, it's not like it's not. It's not. It's not. You know, it's fairly in depth, isn't it? It is. But the wife's over there, so I don't really want to discuss the amount I've spent. But we're in the thousands. Yeah, the molds um, is a lot of money. Um, getting the molds machined. The plastic uh, injection machines itself, yeah. very plastic. I hear the mills are pretty expensive. So in a few years' time, hopefully, I'll break even. <laughs> ah, OK. So every one of these aerials that you're selling today, is a bit of that money going to go back to pay for some of that equipment that you've uh, had uh, to invest in? Well, the wife's watching, so it's probably going to go on her shoes because she's been very, very good to me and she's sat with me all day. But yes, you're absolutely right. It'll pay towards some of that investment. <laughs> Excellent. OK, great. And you mentioned about some of the, the qualities. I think it's aluminium. Is that most of it made aluminium? So we've got one here, look, actually. Yeah, so the antennas, um, they're made out of aluminium. Through the middle, we've got a fiberglass rod to give it the strength. It doesn't need it, it's strong enough as it is, but the rod goes through the middle. That is crimped, these poles are crimped just inside there, hydraulically, onto the fiberglass pole. Um, then we've got then 10 gauge wire, which is soldered onto the connectors. 
and that is also crimped and soldered onto the elements rather than a flimsy screw um, and that's it basically there's not much to it but you try snapping one of them and I'll, I'll put I, I, I wouldn't try to but uh, I'm, I, I trust you on that so it's built to last and as you say the injection moulding is for this centrepiece essentially yeah yes yeah it gives it extra strength waterproof um, yeah hides all the um, electric connect connections and I see you've got things for amateur and also air bands is that uh, the, the sort of markets that you're going for yeah we've got um, all the amateur bands I'm only selling down to six meters at the minute I've got um, some 10 meter stuff coming out and then after Christmas I'm going to focus going a bit lower um, all sorts of stuff okay so you've got some future plans then for some for, for, for some new products Yes, the, the next plan at the minute, we're just waiting for the mould for the J-pole um, to make it collinear. So we've got a U-shape matching section which is adjustable. And if folks asking you for new things, are they saying have you got an HF or something or have you got a dipole for 20? Uh, is that the sort of thing you're finding people asking for? Yeah, uh, the J-pole, I've sold a lot this year, but everyone's coming back, can we, can we further improve it? So that is why I'm doing the extra bit. Um, the four metre band today, as they've sold out. I don't know why it's so busy. But well, I, I, I was saying we should talk a little bit about the formative band. I'm guessing because a lot of the new rigs now, the ICOM 7300, some of the new Kenwood rigs, the new Race 2 FT 101D, DX, sorry, DX 101, now come with four meters, and I think it's becoming a more popular band. So I, I'm actually not surprised people actually want to play with it. Yeah, I mean, all the, the four meter J poles have sold today. Um, all of the four meter dipoles have sold out, so we're actually cutting down the six meters at the minute just to keep oh, right. people happy. <laughs> But yeah, we've done well. That's good. So, so Mike, if people want to, I will see you here today at the show. I guess you sell online, do you? We do. The, um, unfortunately, the website went down yesterday, so I was up all last night. We've put the products back on. There'll be a load more added in a couple of weeks. Um, if you do go online and enter Hamfest19, that'll give you 10% off everything on there. Okay, so where about, what, what's the website address? It's ccom, C-E-E-C-O-M.co.uk. Great, so Mike, thank you very much. Right, Wish you all the, uh, all the best for the future and uh, we'll see you again next year. Thank you very much. I've really enjoyed talking to you. Cheers.